What's going on YouTube world? Austin Zay back here with another YouTube video and I have a very, very, very special guest with me here, uh, Jalen White. Jalen, it's a pleasure to have you on the channel, brother. Good to finally meet um, you, man. You know, this kid is absolutely crushing it. 21 years old, uh, crushing the real estate game, you know, obviously all over the United States and uh, and that's what I do for all of you guys that follow me. You know, you've been following me for a long time. It is real estate primarily right now. I've obviously branched into a lot of other stuff. Uh, being a serial entrepreneur, me, me and Jalen were kind of chatting yeah. before here. But, um, you know, real estate is, is, is was the deal. I mean, it Absolutely. still is a deal. It's the main deal, right? Right. And uh, so anyways, I wanted to bring him on the channel and just kind of interview him, get his story. His story is absolutely inspiring. Um, and I think you guys are going to learn a lot from him. So definitely stay tuned. But man, I mean, 21 years old. Dude, I well, first of all, thank you so much for yeah. the kind words. But let's not forget, this dude is 22, <laughs> so that's why it's always great to connect with people your age. And uh, let's be honest, um, I feel like we don't have a ton of time in the world, so yeah. I'm not spending my young years, you know, just sitting around playing right. Fortnite or whatever. Right. Yeah, I'd still do play Fortnite every now and then. <laughs> yeah, but, exactly. Uh, you get the point. Yep, yep. No, for sure, man. You know, um, it's funny. I've actually never played Fortnite, but all of my friends. Or like, yo, dude, like you should check out Fortnite. Matter of fact, my buddy's sister came up. Yeah. She flew in from Washington, and uh, she was staying at our house, like playing Fortnite on the big screen. <laughs> and I'm like, I played RuneScape like way back in the day. Sure. Like, I don't know if that's how. Like, I probably sound like a total nerd, but um, anyways, it, it looked fun. And Absolutely. Now I'm like a Call of Duty guy. Like when I do play right, Xbox, yeah. Call like, of Duty just, was where it was. Yeah, at, yeah, yeah. Modern but, Warfare too. Yeah. So, anyways, but I, I actually got to check out Fortnite, dude. You know what? When you have your assistant come on, yeah. have her play Fortnite really? for you on yeah. your account. Just be like, there yeah, I got so much stuff yeah. to do. Fortnite's on the list, exactly. so please play Fortnite yep, for play me. Play it for me, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. So, man, I mean, you've been through a lot at 21. You know, I mean, you're you're married. You've owned a Lamborghini. Yeah. I mean, you have a wholesaling business. I mean, you've you know you've been partners with some really big names. Um, you know, just all kinds of cool stuff. You Absolutely. know, how does it? I mean your upbringing and stuff, I mean, what, you know, obviously you're an entrepreneur, you know what entrepreneurs and everybody watching this is probably an entrepreneur in some way, shape, fashion or form, right? right? Absolutely. Um, and you know, it's different for everybody. That's what I tell, you know, my followers all the time, you know, I know that like Amazon FBA is really big right now, um, you know, drop shipping, uh, Shopify, right? Uh, you know, you got the stock market. Right. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there that people can do, but at the end of the day, it's still a being, you're still an entrepreneur. Right. Absolutely. Um, I personally, and this is a biased opinion, I think real estate's the best. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it even comes back to this, like people don't realize that, yeah, you could do Amazon yeah. or eBay or Shopify, but in most of these businesses, you're at risk of that uh, that Pop. platform yeah. collapsing, you know? Totally. And not to mention, who knows what people are mm -hmm. gonna be buying next month right. or next year. I know people are going to be buying real, real estate, estate next month, next year, 10 years, 20 years mm -hmm. from now. And a lot of people don't even realize that people were wholesaling real estate and flipping real estate in the 50s, 40s, yeah. probably back in the 10s and 20s, yeah. probably in the 1800s. Yep. There was probably some dude walking down the frontier yep. with, with his horse and his buggy saying, yep. let me assign my contract for this piece of real yep. estate right here in California. Exactly. You know? It's like exactly. people don't realize this stuff it just been wasn't. Around. It just wasn't, you know, there wasn't social media, so right. you didn't know about it. Absolutely. Right, exactly, 100%. Um, and it's funny, I'll add to that because I always tell, you know, everybody that follows me, my good friends and stuff, I'm like, man, that's great. Like you're making a hundred G's there or there or that. But I feel like we live in a world where everybody wants to sit behind a computer and get rich. Right. The downside to that is you're, I mean, based on experience, your net worth or your network is your net worth. Right. And you can sit behind the computer and trade stocks or do Amazon FBA, but you're never going to meet anybody. Right. Absolutely. And, it, and, and then you're never going to gain people skills. I mean, we could talk, that could be a whole nother conversation, right? right? But you know, a lot of the businesses that I've started, you know, I have an exotic car rental company, I have the golf cart limousine company, right. I got all kinds of different moving pieces in my life, is all because I knew people. Right. And I would have never known those people had it not been for real estate. Right. Had Absolutely. I just been sitting behind a computer trading crypto, I'm yeah. not saying it's a bad thing, right. but I would have never met the most amazing people in my life that, yeah. that, totally. that would, you know, by the way, instead of making 100 or 200 grand a year, I mean, I'll go make, you know, way, way bigger numbers that I'm not even going to talk about, but just, because of who I knew. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And that's the amazing thing too, um, is once you get started in real estate, yep. you kind of are forced to do some yep. networking, right? You've right. got to meet cash buyers. Mm -hmm. And then real estate, I think one good thing about our business is that networking is encouraged, you yeah. know? I don't really know, I can't speak for other mm -hmm. industries, but I do know that a lot of people who are doing other businesses, they don't, you know, you, we're talking Alex and right. talking all these different dudes that we kind of know in our space. Yep. I don't know if it's really the same for yeah. a lot of other industries. Exactly. So. 
Exactly. Yeah. yeah, you know, you're not pushed outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. And I think that's necessary for long-term success. Right. So I think it'll be really interesting yeah, to see absolutely. over the course of the next however many years, um, the people that are just sitting behind the computer wanting to get rich, hey, good for you, man, but you know, you're at the mercy of the platform, uh, you're not building your network, you know, you're not learning basic people skills. I mean, just the, the basic things that you need to go out and truly build a successful right. business. Absolutely. You're just learning how to make 10 grand a month. Right, exactly. You know, and how long is that really gonna last? Yeah. Talking about this, it mm -hmm. goes back to kind of people are just looking for the quick, yep. easy, fast dollar yep. rather than the long-term issue. Like uh, one of the guys that I follow said it perfectly. He said, um, a lot of people are not willing to go through the excruciating yep. pain to make a real business yep. that where in five, 10 years, you're gonna have the competitive advantage right. and actually still be making money. Most people just want to pop into making a quick sales funnel right. or making a you know quick this and that, and then other people see you doing yeah. it and they rip off what you're doing, mm -hmm. and then you are gradually eaten up by competition, Absolutely. right? So I don't know. I just think it's funny how a lot of people are looking yeah. for that quick out, and real estate is easy. It's very simple. It's yeah. fast to do, but within real estate, you can create you know totally. your competitive yeah. advantages. So exactly. I don't know. So I, I kind of feel like probably you got, when did you close your first deal? Or? Um, I was 19 and a half actually. Yeah. So probably about three, three and a half years ago. And it took me nine months to close my first deal, by the way, nice. my first wholesale deal, right. you know, cause I didn't become an agent for like a year and a half or two years into yeah. wholesaling. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. made you become an agent? I'm curious. You know, I was, uh, my, my, my mentor at the time. So I was wholesaling. I just got the ball rolling with wholesaling and I'd probably done like 10 or 15 deals. And I remember I just wanted more. I was just right. like, man, I just know I can do more. And I didn't know what that looked like. You know, I thought well, maybe just close more wholesale deals. Maybe I do some rehabs, you know, whatever. But surprisingly enough, my mentor sat me down and he's like, have you ever thought about getting a real estate license? Right. I was like, I've never thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, go get your real estate. Now this is a keep in mind a couple of years ago right. when the market wasn't quite as hot. Absolutely. He's like, get your license. And what I'll have you do is I'll have you make offers on my behalf, right? So that was right. my mentor talking. Right. He's like, you'll make offers on my behalf. You'll represent me as the buyer, make offers on the MLS, and then I'll wholesale the deal to the end investor, and you make 3% right. on the deal as the agent, right? And I was like, I have no idea what you just said, but I'm in. <laughs> you know, because back then I'm like, I don't know, right? So totally. uh, 11 days later, I was licensed. Yeah, I did the nine-day crash Holy course. Crap. And, yeah. Wait, you can get your license uh -huh. in nine days? Nine days. I did yep. not realize that. Yep, nine days. So, you know, and that's why I'm always constantly telling my followers, I'm like, you know, because I love wholesaling. I think everybody should get into wholesaling, 100 million percent. But also, it's so simple to get your real estate license too. Right. You know, you can do both. Right. And I, I tell people, try not to limit yourself. You know, there's a misconception out there, disclosures and this and that and the other thing. And it's like, well, it's just not the reality of it. The reality Absolutely. is, yeah, you got to say you're a licensed agent. It takes right. three seconds right. to put Absolutely. it in the contract. Right. So it doesn't change. It doesn't much, change does anything. It? Yeah, and I mean that's something I I yeah. considered. I just didn't realize you could do it in nine yeah, days. Nine I thought days. it took you know ninety yeah. days or whatever yeah. at least, uh, because you know yeah. like the, I would just you know right. we just talked about a deal that we're getting mm -hmm. tomorrow locally, which yeah. I don't even do much marketing mm -hmm. here, and uh, I'm like it'd be cool if I could list right. it myself and totally. save that three percent or one exactly. percent or two yeah. percent. So a hundred percent. Yeah. So something to keep in mind, you know, because um, I mean, yeah, it's five hundred hours to. So I think it, I'm pretty sure it's either 500 or 5,000, 500 hours, I think, to cut hair. Yeah. And 90 hours to sell a house. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, and you it's kind of like a. And they'll let you do no 10 brainer, hours right? a day. So, nine, nine days, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a no brainer. That's in Arizona. I think the, the and, you know, so for people watching in, in different states, I mean, I think California is the worst and they're at 120 hours, right. so 12 days. Yeah. And they're the worst, right. you know. So it's like most people on. aren't willing to do that, no, though, right? They're not. Most, that's that's like we were talking yeah. about the, the excruciating. Mm -hmm. Do something your competition isn't doing. Yep. Most people, I feel like, are not willing to go through ten hours a day for even a week. Yep. It's like pathetic. You yep. know? It's insane. So it's literally insane, know. and they want to buy a course and and learn how to trade stocks or whatever. Right. Again, I'm not bashing the industry, but it's because that seems easier. I feel like right. the industry and social media has made those industries look easier. The reality is they're not. Yeah. Um, but you know, they that that's just what ends up happening. Yeah. They spend their money over there on that course. Not to mention, man, most of these other gurus and other mm -hmm. industries, um, they go spend their money yeah. on cars and all this kind of stuff. But with us, capital makes yep. more money, right? right? So we both have exotics, yep. and we we're just talking yep. like, maybe you know. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't the smartest mm -hmm. idea to do that right, right away because when you've got opportunities to buy a house mm -hmm. for seventy grand of your own cash yep. and put it on the market right away for one thirty, you know, and make fifty, sixty mm -hmm. grand or whatever after realtor commissions, actually closing on it yourself, yeah. it's like you know, it's kind right. of a balance in our industry. 100%. So I feel like. 
keep in mind the gurus that you are watching in other crazy industries yep. because they don't got to put their money no. anywhere. Right. You know, right. Exactly. And and so you know basically uh, what what was your first, tell me a little bit about your first deal you know and, and to kind of help these people that are you know maybe they're on the fence you know there's a lot of people probably watching and they don't know what they want to do or whatever and and maybe or maybe they're just getting started and maybe right. your story can inspire them. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So. I will paint you a quick picture, okay? I'm in high school, I'm 18, my parents live in another state, mm -hmm. right? They moved away when I was 17, and I was sleeping on couches, grandma's couch, girlfriend's dad's couch. Of course, he'd always keep a close yep, eye on yep. me. <laughs> uh, but uh, just couch surfing, I had no money, I was negative 150 bucks in the bank account because I had gotten a bigger pockets membership, and then I had opened a website, and before I knew it, the overdraft fees were, you know, lining mm -hmm. up on me. and. Uh, you know, so uh, no car, but I start, I do like a little, uh, a little bandit sign mm -hmm. project, right? So I put out 20 bandit signs and I don't know much about real estate yeah. at the point besides what I've seen on YouTube videos. Um, and I would not recommend doing this because things <laughs> could have gone way wronger, make, or more wrong, excuse yep. me. Uh, so make sure you follow somebody's like exact yep, advice. Yep. But, um, put out the bandit signs and I had made my own cheap bandit signs, mm -hmm. but you know how the handwriting ones go. It's yeah. like, how are you going to trust someone to pay a right. hundred thousand dollars for your house or get the deal done when it's yep. handwritten signs? Right. It's like they work, they can yeah. work, but they didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. So I got these 20 pre-printed signs, uh, put them out. I got a call from a guy who said, yep. Hey, I want to sell my property in Avondale, Arizona. It was a total junker, man. Just like, looked like it looked like the haunted house from the haunted right. mansion or whatever it was, you know? Um, and I've never, I never met this seller and I closed the deal. So he said, I want to sell it for $15,000 uh -huh. and a lot happened that be between getting the deal on a contract, but to make a long story short, I found a buyer at 30,000 and uh, we closed 30 days after uh -huh. I got that contract with the seller, literally on the last day of closing, which yep. you know, that can be stressful because yeah. how often are you actually waiting right. till the end of the contract right. to close? It's like, yep. but uh, anyways, I walk away with the $12,000 check. That's amazing. Immediately book. A flight to Poland with my wife right. to go on a little like trip. Mm -hmm. I, my family's Polish. I yep. don't know. Are, are, do you have any European family? Uh, I actually, well, that's kind of like my back, but I don't know. Yeah, you know, right. yeah exactly. Yeah, so my mom literally speaks. Uh -huh. I only know the cuss words, okay. but so I don't <laughs> speak Polish. But we yep. went, and I actually got a second deal right before we left yep. under contract. And what's pretty cool is we made sixteen thousand dollars on that. My, mm -hmm. I split it with a local yep. guy, uh, Brandon Simmons, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Sean Terry, yep, you know, Sean yep. Terry. So mm -hmm. I, I split it with them, and I made eight grand from yeah. Poland on my second deal. Yeah. I get the wire while I'm sitting in bed in another country, and it was at that point. Well, obviously the twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollar check. I was like, this is where it's yeah. at. But at that point, I was like, dude, you know, because there's a myth like you right. need to be where the property's at to yeah. close the deal. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, I was like, dude, I'm committing to this. Yep. And uh, the first. I saved my first year, but it was his first eight months. Mm -hmm. I hit six figures in income, yep. and then uh, you know probably within that first actual twelve month period, I was at one hundred and fifty grand, right. um, and then just grew from there. That's awesome. Know? So yeah, goes back to and of course, don't right. get me wrong. I'm sure you had this moment where you sat down in your bed. You're like, man, is this world, is this wholesaling mm -hmm. real estate world too big for me? Like yep. I'm just a little. And now I look at a hundred million dollar deals, and I'm like, are these too big for me? Right. You know. Yep. But at the time, a hundred grand deal seemed like totally. a lot of money. You know, to be dealing with houses that yeah, size. Absolutely, so, it's all relevant, right? Right. You know, hundred. We, we, and I was talking to one of my partners the other day about this. Is like, you know, a hundred thousand, uh, a million. You know, a bit. It's just it's all relevant to where you're at in life at that moment. Right. You know? Absolutely. And, and it always it still just feels the exact same. Yeah. How old were you when you closed that first deal? I was eighteen. Eighteen years yeah, old. I mean, eighteen, 18 years old. Closing a twelve thousand dollar deal. I mean, yeah. that that must have just been. Dude, I tell you, I remember. <laughs> you remember how it was in high school? Yeah. You know the culture, and yep. I'm sure maybe a lot of you guys are young too. Maybe even some still in high school. And yep. I walked to school two days before graduation. You know, getting my, my yep. papers signed to be you know charged off yeah, to school or whatever. Right, right. You know, before graduation. I remember going to my buddies who I played football with and being like, "Yo, look at this, bro." Yep. Like I'd never seen that much money in a bank account yeah. at one time, and anybody that I knew, you mm -hmm. know. So I'm like walking around like some Billy Day, yep. you know. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, it really wasn't that much money. I just was on my high horse, yeah. you know. Um, but again, it was amazing. It, it, relative though, again, yeah. you know, twelve thousand dollars to somebody watching might be a total game changer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then once you're there, you know, then it's like okay, twenty and thirty, because really the goal never ends. Like right, there's never. Yeah. You're never you know, like okay, I'm, yeah, I made this I, amount of money. I'm, I'm happy, right? Yeah, right. I mean, Elon Musk is still working. Yeah. Right. You know, right? They're 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 still 
trying to get to that next level. Absolutely. So, um, well, that's awesome, man. I mean, the story is just incredible. And obviously now it's just been uphill from there. You know, the first deal, the second deal, Absolutely. and then now you're just closing deals all over the place. Building you the got team. a team. Yeah. So scaling, you know, yeah. scaling and leverage. So it starts out with just getting your feet wet, closing a right. deal, and then figuring out how to scale and leverage. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that all happened in, I mean, what, three years? Three years, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's now actually three years because yeah. so, it's May now. Right. So yeah, exactly. about three years. You know, and so for someone watching, I mean, three years, I mean, that's not, I mean, it, it, it's four years to get a bachelor's degree. Right. To be in debt, or if mommy and daddy paid for it, you're still going to go make, I mean, maybe, what, 50, 60 right out of, exactly. right out of college? Right. At most. I mean, that's if you get yeah. really lucky on a good day. So it's like, dude, that's what I don't get. It's like, imagine if you or me created yep. a real estate program where we charged, let's say on the loan, 30 mm -hmm. grand a year. Yep. And we said, you know what? If you drop out at any point, you don't get a refund. Right. There's no guarantees. Mm -hmm. There's no money back guarantee. You have to show up. Yep. We're not going to, you know, even give you really a roadmap. Show up to class. Hopefully you pass. Yeah. If you don't, too bad. You know, at the end of the year, we're going to give you a, a certificate that mm -hmm. says, hey, we approve you. Yep. And if you, get a, if you don't get any deals, yep. too bad. Right. You know, if you never see a dime back of yeah. your of your uh, from your business, too bad. And guess what? You might have gone in debt to get your education, but we're not going to allow you to charge that off in any sort of bankruptcy. Right. It's right. like you'd be like scam, right? Yeah. Right away, rip off report. Yep. But and I'm not saying college is a scam. Yeah. But it's amazing that so many people are just so entrenched by yeah. that idea that that's going to be their life savior it's you know insane. it just doesn't work like that it's insane i could literally talk about that for an hour yeah right. it would be like Me too. i mean i think and i'll just add i'll just say this you know if you're gonna be a doctor a lawyer a nurse something like that sure go get, even go though get, you're investing in right. a business right? yeah you're exactly starting a business. yeah go get go get your thing but i see so many people going to the business school right <laughs> it's like what are you like mm -hmm. go on youtube right business school of what you yeah. know go spend some money on marketing yeah. right it's just unbelievable you know, so that's awesome, man. Well, that, that just proves that literally, because um, my story is very similar, but they all know my story. But, you know, having you on here, you know, I like to bring people like you on because it, it just keeps proving to everybody over and over right. and over again. It's like in your face, it's possible. It's doable. Right. Like, just go do it. People need to be have the idea. Right. And we're both the same yep. way. Have the idea beaten into your head, exactly. right? Exactly. Because you're a normal do. average kid with above average goals and dreams. Right, exactly. That's what I always tell I myself. I love that like, saying, man. You know, it's, awesome. it's a network marketing saying, I yeah. think. But, um, you know, we both have a little bit of network marketing yeah. experience. But, you know, it's true. It's true. I didn't Absolutely. get the best grades in school. You know, I don't know what yours were, but I mean, it doesn't sound My like you went to college. My grades were good till sophomore year, yeah. and then they started slipping right. when I learned I wanted to be an entrepreneur. entrepreneur. So yeah. I didn't go to college. In fact, I never even I could have gotten like yeah. a scholarship or whatever, uh, just because I worked mm -hmm. hard in school initially. But I, you know, I was like, okay, I'm, yeah. I need to make some money because exactly. your parent, you know, your parents are living in another yep. state. I mean, I have five, five younger siblings, yeah. so I'm not exactly, they're not exactly on my doorstep mm -hmm. every day making sure I'm doing the right thing, right. you know, of course. Um, from another state, and I was just ready to make some money right. as an entrepreneur, yeah, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. So. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks so much for coming on the channel. It, you know, it just, it's inspiring. You know, I think people Thank are really going to take the message and, and run with it and, and uh, you know, hopefully get into real estate. That's, Make that's sure you guys one. stick with this guy, though, because I tell you what, if you can trust anybody to show you what's working in, in the market, you're the guy to follow. I appreciate I'd that, say for sure. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And also, guys, um, as we wrap up this video, you know, down below, I'm going to put a link you know, to your channel in the description. It'll be the first link, so definitely go check Jalen out. I mean, just a true inspiration. Um, married, I mean, just unbelievable in every aspect of life, right? So go check him out. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe here. Go subscribe there. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next Absolutely. video. Appreciate it again, brother. Real quick, excuse yep. the short shorts, though. Like, hey. Don't go flame me in my comment <laughs> section like, dude, this guy's wearing short shorts. We live in Arizona, yeah. man. It's hot yeah. as hell out it's here. It's like 100 degrees today. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think it's like 102 or 103. Prob probably yeah, up yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Everybody's like, everybody thinks Arizona is like a desert. Yeah. But it's funny, it's actually like a lot of green here. Right, exactly. You know? I was in California the other day I was like I, I'm pretty sure I would still rather live in Arizona yeah I Think love Cali. Arizona man. yeah it's just beautiful absolutely a lot of good resorts yep, too yeah for so. sure all right guys we'll see you in the next video